What, what, what's good YouTube? It's your boy Swan, back with another video. Today's video will be teaching y'all how to make flare jeans. Just like in this picture, y'all been asking me how to make them, so I'm finna teach y'all. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend, and let's get straight into it. So for the materials that you're gonna need, you're gonna need a hot glue gun or a sewing machine. It don't really matter, but today I'm gonna use a hot glue gun. You're gonna need something that you can cut stitching inside the pants, like I'm gonna be using this hook. Oh, and I forgot to say, you're gonna need some scissors and a measuring tape. A measuring tape is very optional, but I highly suggest it. Now on to the video. And you're also gonna need some fabric. It could be a bandana or it could be some old jeans. Nothing too crazy. I'm finna use this for the flares because you need something that you can put the flare on. So yeah, I'm gonna just use this. And you obviously gonna need some jeans, like any type of jeans, some jeans that you're gonna use for the flares. So yeah, let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is on the bottoms, you're gonna get your like your stitch cutter or whatever. And under, you're gonna take these stitching out of the pants. So I'm gonna give you all a time lapse of me doing that. All right, so I finished taking out all the stitching on this pants leg, as you can see. Now I'm finna do it on my other pants leg, but I'm not gonna record it because it's really the same process, but I'll be right back. All right, so after you take out your stitching on both pants legs, you wanna get an iron and you wanna iron over it so it can stay flat. And I'm gonna come back to y'all when I do that. All right, so my iron just got done heating up, so now I'm finna go over this, over my iron so it can stay flat. I also highly suggest you to get you a, a measurement tape so you can have exact measurements on both sides because you don't want one flare to be bigger than the other. All right, so for these flares, I'm not going to do the inside of the flaring because it's really the same process as the outside. So I'm going to just show you how the outside. So then you're going to want to find your measurements on how high up you want the flare to be. You're going to cut right on the edge line, right on this line, on how up you want it to be. So you're going to take your scissors and cut up this line off how far you want the flare to be. So I'm gonna stop like right here. And you're gonna do the same thing on this side cause you want even measurements. So yeah, just cut up this line and I'll be right back. Okay, so after you do your measurements and you do your cuts, you should have something like this on both sides. <clears throat> then we're gonna switch to the other pair of fabric and I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay, so after you switch to the other fabric, you're kinda wanna do the same thing that you did with your first pair of jeans. You're just gonna cut up the slide size on how big you want it to match the length of the other pants. But this time when you're cutting, you wanna cut like a box. So it's gonna be like up, out, and then over, kinda. You'll see when I'm finished, but yeah, on to me cutting. Okay, so I just got finished cutting one leg sleeve off. I'm gonna cut the other one off, but you, but you also want it to have the same width at the bottom so it could go across on the same exact length. But yeah, on to the next one. All right, so now that you got both pieces of fabric as you cut it, you're gonna lay this one inside this hole right here. And you're gonna do the same thing for this one. So I'm gonna show y'all right now. I'm gonna get back to y'all when I lay it in. All right, so when you're laying this down, make sure at the bottom it's more wider out than the top and make sure it's like a little piece out here because it's gonna be like a flare. And yeah, like you wanna have it lifted. And this is gonna be the inside. If you're gonna use hot glue, you're gonna like wanna glue all of this. But well, I'm gonna show y'all that part in a second. But yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. And I'm gonna do this side, this part to that side. So yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so now that I got both of them on each side, I'm gonna get my hot glue gun, warm it up, and then I'm gonna put glue all throughout here. Like dot, 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 dot. All the way going up the sleeve. And I'm gonna do that on the back side too. So I'm gonna show y'all that part. All right, so I'm done with one pants leg. As y'all can see, yeah, it was glued on everything. 
everything's going right so i'm finna do this other one and i'm not gonna show y'all this one because i already did this one so y'all finna just see the final result all right so this is the finished product yeah i really like them i like the way they turned out and everything here's the back side of it so yeah this is the front side of the finished product now i'm about to show y'all the back and here's the back of it yeah, I like the way they turned out and everything. I'm finna style them, so I'll be right back. Alright, so that's it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this with a friend, and let me know how y'all like these pants, the pants I just made. And let me know what type of videos y'all want on my Instagram that will pop up right here. And I'm going to see you on the next video.